Hi, I am Dr. Suresh Kumar Panadanti, working as lead consultant in Department of Pediatrics and Pediatric Critical Care, Yashoda Hospital, Somajiguda, Hyderabad. Asthma is a common chronic condition that can affect various age groups, including children. It's a condition that affects the airways in the lungs, which are the conducting pipes which take the air, what we breathe into the lungs. Asthma causes inflammation or swelling of the airway walls, which in turn causes narrowing of the airway, which causes difficulty for the air to pass through. The symptoms associated with asthma are related to the narrowing of airway. The common symptoms of asthma, cough, which has a diurnal variation, that is, which is usually more in the night. It can be associated with noisy breathing. Sometimes it can cause a musical sound as the air passes through the narrow airways, which is called wheezing, and it can cause difficulty in breathing. During acute asthma attacks, which are also called as flare-ups, child has difficulty in breathing, chest in drawing, and they will not be able to complete a sentence without stopping to take breath. What causes these flare-ups? Let's look at this. Seasonal changes like weather changes or exposure to any allergens like smoke, dust, pollen or any strong perfumes, uh, any of these things can cause acute exacerbations. How do we treat asthma? Asthma is a treatable condition but it's, there is no permanent cure. All we can do is to keep control of symptoms. The medications which are used for asthma are called bronchodilators which open up the narrowed airway and in case of chronic asthmatic children we use something called spacer with inhalers. We use a spacer which is a device through which the medicine is given. Inhalers are the devices which contain the medication. There are two types of inhalers which we commonly use. One is preventers as the name suggests it is used to prevent the symptoms and the second one is relievers and as the name suggests it is used to relieve the symptoms which are caused by acute asthma. In addition we need to keep the child away from allergens. Most important thing in asthma is prevention of acute flare-ups. How do we prevent flare-ups? Keeping the child away from known allergens and some of the commonly missed allergens are pigeon Pigeon droppings and pigeon feathers are potent allergens and house dust, carpets, mats which are used at home can cause significant amount of allergy. In addition, strong perfumes or any strong smells which are used at home or outside and even cockroaches. These are the common potent allergens which need to be kept away from children in order to prevent flare-ups and some non-modifiable risk factors like genetics or seasonal changes need to be kept in, uh, kept in mind and we need to take care of children by wearing masks when uh, the child is taken to a crowded place and keeping the child away from anyone who is unwell especially when someone is sneezing or uh, coughing because the viral infections are a potent triggers for acute uh, asthmatic attacks in children. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.